The charges that my office filed about an hour ago, <laughs> which we believe are supported by the law and the admissible evidence and can be proven in court beyond a reasonable doubt to a jury, are as follows. And there's nine counts. I believe many of you have received a uh, summary that lists those nine counts. The first is criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree. This is a class two felony and it has a possible sentence of up to 48 years in the Department of Corrections. Some of you know that from the coroner who issued a press release a couple hours ago, I learned that the autopsy conducted by an expert pathologist, Dr. Leon Kelly, did not find any medical or physical evidence that the baby, Aurora, ever took a breath after being taken from her mother. In Dr. Kelly's opinion, this was not a live birth. According to Dr. Kelly, and I quote, the autopsy and investigation failed to provide evidence that the child exhibited signs of life outside of the womb. Now I know that it has been widely reported in the press based on an initial police report from a statement taken from a witness immediately after the events of March 18th that the witness observed Aurora taking a gasping breath. However, Upon a more thorough examination of this witness by the Longmont Police Department, the witness clarified that Aurora was still and her mouth was open, but she was not breathing, which is consistent with the medical evidence from the autopsy, with Dr. Kelly's opinion, and with the other evidence in the case.